crazy. People are gonna lose their jobs behind this. I'm one of them. I live in Orleans, bro. I can't even get home. Ain't nothing changed, nothing new here to see. This ain't nothing but some political maneuvering. America. Welcome to the eulogy. Eat it up. It's called political buffoonery. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dumb Democracy, where we showcase some of the dumbest newsmakers of the week. I make a lot of jokes about the People's Republic of New York City. You've seen the merch, you've seen the, the glass I just got for Christmas. You know I make these jokes a lot, but I can do this because I am a New Yorker, born and bred. It's in my bones, it's in my DNA. You're speaking right now with a Brooklyn accent. And I do sympathize to some extent to what New Yorkers have had to deal with in the past year. The run-of-the-mill average New Yorker just going through their everyday routine has had to deal with a lot of crap. From the migrant crisis, to shoplifting because of inflation and prices going up, to the loss of city services, the slashing of the budget because of the migrant crisis, increases in crime, constant protests over Israel and Hamas, anti-Semitic behavior, we've seen the tearing down of those posters and all the viral videos that are out there. It's been a lot for the average New Yorker to swallow. But you start messing with their routine, like what happened on Monday morning's commute, and you end up with pure chaos, and that's when even the most ardent liberal will turn on people, and you start being labeled an idiot. We're going to talk about how New Yorkers are finally getting fed up with a lot of the protests going on concerning Israel and Hamas. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the shows. And while you're here, if you like what you see in here on this video or maybe on some of the other videos I've done in the past that are on the channel, smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, share the show with your friends, all that really, really good stuff, because all that really, really good stuff supports the channel and it feeds the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for everything that you do for the channel and getting the word out there. I truly appreciate it. And for all you new people that are showing up, and I see there's a lot of you out there, please consider subscribing. I hope this is the video where I earn that subscription. Now, I said I had some sympathy for my fellow New Yorkers, but it only goes so far, you know. I mean, I moved out of the People's Republic of New York City for a better life for me and my family out in the suburbs on Long Island. And I really have to wonder at this point, with all the crap they're being served on a daily basis, whether it be increased fare hikes or crime or construction even and the congestion pricing going on, there's so much crap being thrown at the everyday New Yorker. I really got to wonder why the hell are you staying there? I'm a glutton for punishment. You get what you vote for, folks. And New Yorkers voted for one party rule. There aren't really a lot of Republicans in the People's Republic of New York City. I should know I was fighting to get many of them into office for over a decade. So while I understand the fight, I also understand cutting your losses here. Maybe, hopefully, this and other incidents that have happened recently will start to wake up New Yorkers. And I think we see a hint of that in the videos concerning this particular shutdown of traffic by protesters. We are on the Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge, and uh, traffic was uh, allowed to finally pass through about 45 minutes ago. So that protest, again, as you said, targeting three bridges and one tunnel. Let's take a look at the Holland Tunnel now. It was blocked by a line of people. They actually blocked a number of areas from Canal to Hudson Street. That caused backup of cars on Canal and Hudson Street and over to the West Side Highway. This happened at about 9.30, 10 this morning. And less than an hour later, police were able to move in and make arrests. We understand that they made 120 arrests, 120 people arrested just at the the Holland Tunnel and that and as of the taping of this video on Monday night that's ballooned to over 300 citywide that tunnel has reopened since it was also a similar situation over at the Williamsburg Bridge where cars could not get across you're starting to see New Yorkers get agitated in these videos you don't mess with a New Yorkers routine you know everyone has their own routine during the day they go to get their breakfast, they take their train, they get in their car, whatever it may be. You don't mess with a New Yorker's routine, because when you do, 
it usually ends up in trouble. But I gotta say, I'm proud of seeing New Yorkers finally getting fed up with all the political nonsense going on around them. Because of protesters there, in fact, at the Williamsburg Bridge, protesters, we understand, locked themselves to the bridge and had to be cut free by police before they were arrested over there at the Williamsburg Bridge. And all of this was really frustrating to drivers. We saw one incident where a driver really had no patience for the protests and just wanted to get where he was going. And we heard from some drivers who were frustrated by the impact this was having on their commute. I got to pay rent. I got to go to work. I got a mouth to feed, a young son. I can't do anything about Netanyahu and his war. I would like them to move. This is wrong. This is crazy. People are going to lose their jobs behind this. I'm one of them. I live in Williamsburg. I can't even get home. It's the whole human experience when it comes to the People's Republic of New York City. You kind of see it there. But there was one particular motorist that has since gone viral. They're calling him Mr. Brooklyn. So this clip was shared on Instagram by the account of Writers Against the War on Gaza. It depicts a motorist that has since been dubbed Mr. Brooklyn trying to get onto the Manhattan Bridge as these protesters, these useful idiots, are blocking him and he's being urged to run them over, as you'll hear in the clip. You're disrupting traffic, idiots! <laughs> that is just the best New York line. Idiots, you're disrupting traffic. Don't mess with a New Yorker's routine, man, and don't mess with their commute either. They'll mess you up. You can't do that. That's against the law. Get away from my car, bro. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He says he's about to throw fists. He's not going to run anybody over, but he is certainly not happy. Get away from my car! Bro, get away from my car. I have a daughter in Brooklyn! Now you can understand this frustration of a parent, right? He, his daughter is in Brooklyn that I guess he's got to go get. And these protesters who are there to disrupt the lives of average people for their cause, as if that's going to do something, are stopping him from getting to his family. You hear people saying, run him over, run him over. Eventually, they let him by. But others were not so lucky. So now that you've seen what's been going on in the People's Republic of New York City, let's start asking, who the hell are these people? Like what you see so far? Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, leave us a comment and tell us what you're thinking. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another show. From the New York Post. Anti-Israel radicals who shut down New York City bridges linked to AOC funded by Rockefellers, according to so-called experts. Well, color me surprised. AOC? You don't say. Let's get into this story right here. Mass anti-Israel protests, which stopped traffic out of Manhattan Monday, were secretly coordinated by radicals and are a dramatic escalation of their tactics, experts tell The Post. At least six radical anti-Israel groups were behind the rush hour protests which stranded commuters on the Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Williamsburg Bridges and the Holland Tunnel. The groups, which include the Democratic Socialists of America, we've talked about them before on the channel. I'm going to put a video in the upper right-hand corner of the screen just to remind you guys all about them, whose members include squad member AOC, coordinated their actions, then blasted their social media accounts with glossy films reveling in the misery they brought. They also deployed Susan Sarandon, another useful idiot, the actress who has previously had to apologize for anti-Semitic comments. And if you go down here, oh look, there she is right there. Isn't that convenient? Useful idiots, folks. Who are the people behind this? 
they're buffoons. The types of buffoons that I talk about in my book, and I'm not going to show it because I don't have it handy, Schnooks, Crooks, Liars, and Scoundrels, A Field Guide to Identifying Political Buffoons, which is available right now on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, and other online bookstores. Susan Sarandon would be one of these social justice warriors. We talk about the culture warrior in the book. The washed-up person from their field in Hollywood that is choosing a political life to sort of maintain their fame, resurrect their fame. In the case of Susan Sarandon, she's been a perennial rabble-rouser for many lefty causes over the years, and she's a perennial buffoon that is one of these culture warriors. The not-so-famous ones that are out there chaining themselves to the Holland Tunnel or whatever they were doing, they are useful idiots. They're, they're narcissists, but they're also the useful idiots of politics. They walk around as a living virtue signal. They go out there with their flags, with their garb, you know, the vest they put on, or any sort of cultural garb they put on, and they have their pre-made signs all furnished to them by the Democratic Socialists of America, and they go out there as a living, breathing virtue signal. And I say that because, let's think about it for a second, what the hell's the plan here, people, to disrupt everybody's day, to turn everybody against you? Does anybody really think that blocking bridges and tunnels is going to suddenly make the average person say, hmm, you know what? These pro-Hamas people, they got a point. I should really be against Israel. Hell no. That's not what happens here. They live to disrupt. This is pure ego, pure vanity, pure narcissism. Oh, virtue. And these particular useful idiots are funded by six different groups. They're an autonomous collective, according to the experts cited in this article. Palestinian Youth Movement the Democratic Socialists of America that we talked about earlier, Writers Against War on Gaza, who filmed Mr. Brooklyn, Jewish Voice for Peace, Al Auda, A-W-D-A, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, please don't come bomb me, bro. That's extremely uh, offensive. And Critical Resistance. By the way, that was a joke for all you sensitive people out there. Have a little bit of a sense of humor. That's what the channel's about as well. Between them, they boast ties not just to AOC and Susan Sarandon, but to Angels in America playwright Tony Kushner, elite colleges including Yale, Brown, and UCLA. It's the usual suspects here, guys, and have received funding from the Ben and Jerry's Foundation, a Rockefeller Family Foundation, and the charitable arm of investment company Charles Schwab. Motley crew of pale, dewy-faced salamander people. It's really an unholy grouping here of the left all coming together to disrupt the day of other liberals, other Democrats, other progressives in the People's Republic of New York City. They're hurting their own to get their message out there. They want the press. They want that virtue signal. There's a whole lot going on here. A lot of different agendas coming together, all to disrupt the day of New Yorkers. I'm with these New Yorkers that are totally done with the bullshit. But I have to ask you guys, why the hell are you still there? It's time to get out of the People's Republic of New York City. It's a lost cause. This is the People's Republic of New York City. This photo right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Virtue signalers out there getting their street cred from the NYPD who will ultimately arrest them, but nothing's ever going to happen to them all to put forth a message that majority people don't agree with and have to put up with in their everyday life. The People's Republic of New York City is doomed, people. It's time to jump ship. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it time for people to abandon the People's Republic of New York City? Are you afraid that people who do leave the city will infect other areas with their own brand of liberalism and leftist nonsense? Let's talk about it in the comments. And please, if you like what you saw in this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other shows. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Share the show with your friends. And let's talk about these useful idiots and their virtue signaling that happens every day this week in dumb democracy.
views and opinions expressed here are not necessarily of the mainstream media and may offend some listeners. It's called political buffoonery.